Well, as a journalist, what do you think of... What do you think of Steve Bannon? Steve Bannon is Donald Trump's main sure. advisor. He was the head populist of, head from of Beverly Hills, right? Breitbart. Is that was that is yeah. from Beverly Hills? Yeah. Well, well, via Goldman Sachs, and and Breitbart. Right. Uh, he said the media should be embarrassed and humiliated and keep its mouth shut mm -hmm. and just listen for a while. I want you to quote this. He said that. Mm -hmm. The media here is the opposition party. They don't understand this country. Then, as uh, the Daily Beast dude, you must be a little chilled by that. I'm outraged by it. I'm outraged by it. Look, they're not at war with the media. <laughs> they're at war with the truth. And, and, and you know, the Constitution doesn't mention parties. It mentions journalists. It mentions freedom of speech. And they may have the White House for a while. But we've got truth and facts on our side and the Constitution. And I'd remind them, <laughs> I'd remind them that a majority of Americans voted for somebody else. So this misreading of a non-existent mandate, they have an obligation to reach out. If they don't do that, then we're going to have deep trouble. But yeah. ultimately, truth wins that war. Truth always wins that war eventually. Now, I heard you just say we, as if you're a Democrat. No, I'm an independent. I know. I'm I, know an you, I know you were very always adamant about, I'm an yeah, independent. I am. But he just made you say we. No, we, no, we... He did, I heard we, it. You we, were like, we have the truth no, no, on no. our side. That's actually, the, that's actually the problem. One of the things demagogues do throughout history, here's the telltale sign, us against them. They always do us against them. And this administration keeps doing us against them. Oh. But here's the thing. The real pushback is to refuse that. When I said we, I meant journalists. I meant citizens. I meant Americans.